What is up everyone? In the last video I dug through a big plastic box of free electrical junk and one of the things to come out of that box was these four SATA hard drives. There were six hard drives in total but the other two are IDE and at the moment I don't have my IDE to USB interface with me. Uh, that's the way that I test IDE drives. I have my SATA dock which is really convenient. So we can test these and look at these today, but unfortunately we can't test the IDE ones. But that's okay because I'm more interested in these ones anyway because they're much more likely to be useful. So if you haven't seen that video, go and check it out. It was really good fun digging through that lot and finding out what electrical goodies somebody else was chucking away. A lot of it is kind of junk and I'll be getting rid of it really soon because it's just all sitting in its box. But there'll be a good few things from that bundle that I'll keep for myself and they'll be very handy. So taking a look at the first drive, this drive is a Seagate Barracuda 7200.12 RPM or whatever. <laughs> This one's a 500 gig. I put the date code into the Seagate website and it was built in October of 2009. So in terms of a free computer part, definitely not that old, which is really cool. Um, this is very likely to still be a working drive. Uh, a lot of people swear by these drives and it would be really cool if it is because 500 gigs of storage is not to be sniffed at. So that's the first drive. I believe this is the newest out of the lot. One of the biggest giveaways is it's one of the only ones without a Molex power connector. Uh, but there we are. There's the the Seagate 500 gig. Next one is an older drive, but not a really old drive. At least I believe this is older, um, just because we've got the Molex power connector and also it's much bigger and thicker and very heavy. Uh, this is a 500 gig drive. It's a Hitachi Desk Star. And this is also a SATA Rev2, so SATA 3 gigabit a second hard drive. Really cool stuff here. Again, if this one works, it'll also be a nice drive to store data. This next one is also a Hitachi Desk Star, but we're going with a little bit of a different label design here, and uh, it is much smaller in, in capacity. This is 160 gigabytes, so stepping down quite a bit there. But of course, still a SATA drive, and uh, it's SATA 3 gigabit a second as well, just like all the others. And then we have this one. This is an interesting little drive. This is a WD Caviar SE, but it's an e-server edition drive, um, which from what I can gather means that it's been through slightly more testing um, by IBM to be used in their, hang on, what's it called? In their X system series units, I guess their servers. Um, so this has gone through a little bit more validation um, by IBM themselves and possibly Western Digital as well. So it's pretty cool because their logo is on the actual drive label. They must have had some kind of collaboration at one point uh, for WD to provide drives for their systems. Uh, but this one is also SATA 3 gigabit a second. So we have some quite nice drives here, guys. None of them are dinosaurs. Of course, the most useless in the pile is this one, uh, the WD one, just because it's 80 gig. Uh, that's a very, very big and unreliable way to store as little as 80 gigs of data these days, you know, with 64 gigabyte SD cards becoming so, so so cheap and storage just being absolutely everywhere and even now the quick upload speed that I have and cloud storage being so cheap and so reliable um, hard drives like this are pretty much out of the question for storage for me same goes for the 160 gig as well to be perfectly honest but anything 500 gig and up or even 300 gig and up to be honest I've got uh, four 300 gig drives in my RAID system behind me and uh, that gives me 900 gig under RAID 5 and that's a nice little bit of storage there um, but yeah these could come in handy in the future they really could so hopefully they work and uh, that's half the reason why we're here so what we're going to do is stick them in the toaster one by one test the drives individually see what they do um, my drive toaster is currently connected to my Mac so I could fire up Blackmagic Discs yeah I tell you what I'll do I'll fire up Blackmagic Disk Speed Test and give them all a bit of a test and uh yeah, we'll, we'll see which one's the quickest. So place your bets now for which one of these four drives is going to win the speed test, because I think that would be good fun. Um, so let's take a look at these drives and see if any of them work. Hopefully they do. If they don't, this video will be a massive waste of time. Okay, folks, we're going to start with the smallest drive, and that is, of course, the 80 gig uh, WD drive. So let's stick it into the old toaster here. There we go. One thing I need to do is secure this toaster down on the shelf somehow. I've secured the cables, but I need to secure that because it's a bit slippery. Let's fire it up. So the driver's spun up. Let's see what we get on our desktop. Okay, this drive is not formatted. So what we're going to do is initialize it. So here it is, guys. We may as well just format it 
um, because that's all we can do. And to make it fair, what I'll do is I'll format all of these for Mac because that's the uh, that's what I use with all of my drives. So I may as well for now. So we'll format this one, 80 gig, and we'll boot up Black Magic and see how quick it is for our little competition, our free hard drive speed competition. So Black Magic. Disk speed test. We will select 80 gig as our drive and we will press start and we will see the results we get. Okay, nice. <laughs> so that's the result of the 80 gig drive. WD 80 gigabyte. Nice. Okay, guys, let's go for the next drive. We've ejected that one. Let's turn her off, pull her out. So we have one relatively working hard drive, which is cool. I'm not testing the hard drive health or anything like that. If I am going to use these for anything in the future, of course, I'll put them through their paces. But just for now, we're taking a general look at these drives to see if they're working. So let's fire this one up. Ah, this one's a fair bit louder. And this one is also not formatted, which is a shame. Okay, I would like to see some data on some of these. That would be good fun. 160 gig, let's raise this as well. There we go, there's that one done. Now let's black magic this guy and see how far we get. 160 gig selected, let's go. Ooh, winning so far. <laughs> Doing quite a bit better than uh, than the WD there, folks. There we go. That's pretty much the peak for that one. So this one is the 160 gig drive. There we go. So we have a second working hard drive, which is cool, although it is a little bit loud. Let's turn that off, take it out. And next up we have, let's take a little look, Hitachi Deskstar 500 gig. This is the first of the two big boys. Well, big boys for free hard drives. Turn that on. This one is also spinning up, which is always a good sign. Nothing yet. Oh! Okay, this one is formatted, guys. This one is indeed formatted, and there's stuff on here. So what I'm gonna do is have a quick look through this stuff and see if there's anything interesting. So guys, this disc has about 200 gigs free, but it's full of really, really, really boring stuff. Nothing interesting at all. Uh, loads of old photographs from CCTV systems, uh, random photographs of clothing, quite a lot of clothing that someone is selling on eBay. Some music, there's like two albums on there, and the rest is just business stuff that I don't understand. But the source of this drive is Carmarthen, um, which is about 45 minutes away from me. Um, so this stuff hasn't travelled that far, at least this part of it hasn't. So let's go and erase this drive, let's erase this sumo disc which is, uh, yeah, quite, quite a funny name there. So, yeah, let's erase this, just as we erase the others. And uh, that way, we can then incorporate it into the test. There was nothing worth saving in here, guys, nothing at all. Let's take a look at the disk speed. Start. Wow, okay. This one's taking a while to crawl into action. Oh, not bad on the reads though. Interesting, folks, interesting. This drive doesn't appear to be extremely healthy because it's jumping around on the rights quite a bit and crunching away as it's doing it, which is fairly entertaining. As you can see, it jumps up to 70 something there and then it crawls down and tries to recover. So quite difficult to know when to screenshot, uh, but we'll go with, we'll go with that. So uh, yeah, that's fascinating. Let's eject this one and obviously call this one 500 gig. And then yank it out and put in our last drive. Now out of all of them, I'm hoping that this little Seagate is gonna work. Uh, so far with these free hard drives, we've got three 
of the free, so three of the free hard drives that are working. Uh, let's hope we get all four because that would be a really, really good day and definitely an awesome deal. The only thing I don't like about these thin Seagates is they're a little bit tricky to put in these toasters, getting the connectors lined up. There we go. So that's spun up, spinning up. And what do we have? Not formatted, but recognised. So that is good. I'm really, really hoping that this one is going to win the speed test because I've got a feeling it's the newest and also it'll probably be the most reliable for me and the most useful um, because the other 500 gig drive seems a little bit worn out to say the least. Whoops. Okay, so 500 gig start. Yes, okay guys, look at that for a difference. Look at that for a difference. This drive is performing exceedingly well compared to the others. Very pleased with that. So there's our little 80 gig plodding away really slowly. There's our little 160 gig, a little bit faster, quite a bit faster than that 80 gig. Uh, next up we have the dodgy 500 gig and then we have the clear winner uh, that Seagate 500 gig, the fairly new one, which is awesome. Well guys, here we have it. Another example of why free doesn't necessarily mean broken. Despite the varying performance speeds of these drives and definitely the varying rates of reliability, you know, who's to say some of these aren't going to die within a day or whatever. Despite all of that, no one, could, no one can deny that we have four working drives from that box, with this top one, the Seagate, being quite a speedy performer, which is awesome. So I am beyond pleased with that result, guys. I think that is super, super cool. I hope the IDE drives are working as well, but this is a brilliant start. I hope you've enjoyed this really fun little video. There was nothing really scientific or experimental about it, but we just had some fun with these drives. And uh, these will now go into my drawer with all of my other drives and be useful in the future. Future. They'll get labelled up with what's good about them, what's bad about them, and uh, yeah, they can go in there for future projects and future fun on the channel. So, I hope you've all enjoyed this video. Again, if you haven't seen the video about the free stuff, that one was really good fun as well. And as always, I will see you next time.